Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You got, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter video series of videos I've been doing for a little while. Where I go over there, try food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff, folks. I'm going to let you know all you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that I'm going to travel sitting in a chair. That's, I mean, come on, folks. That's basically the American dream, right? I get to go over there and try out hopefully good stuff, and I'm sitting down. <laughs> yeah. Whilst I'm doing so, Peter Can Thunderbolt poster over there. Grab your little ladder off the side. There's some Marvel figures up there. And I'm wearing a cool shirt. When I wear cool shirts, I like Thailand shirt. What shirt am I wearing? Boom! Rob Zombie shirt. Love Rob Zombie. Got to see him in concert recently. Hence the shirt. He's playing with uh, Mudvayne, Power Man 5000, Static Axe. <coughs> Every one of them did a fantastic job. I'm caught in my throat. I did a review for this recently. Go give it a check out. Uh, but anyway, folks, sure decide all that aside. What am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, I've got something that I'm hoping is going to be amazing. If it's not, I'm going to be disappointed because we got boom Cadbury Dairy Milk Tropical Pineapple Candy Bar. I love pineapple. Time I'm doing this, just yesterday. I went over there and I uploaded uh, not one, but two pineapple soda specials. It was a two-part episode, folks. Okay, there was a cliffhanger and everything. Not really, just the video cut off and dad had to do another video. I love pineapple. It's my favorite fruit, one of my favorite things in the entire world. So I had to go over there and snag this when I saw it. Now, apparently, and I didn't realize this at the time, apparently I paid $15 for this. So I extra hope this is really good now. It's also oh so slightly out of date, but not by much. Not by much. Just a few days. So proudly made in Tasmania. Hooray Tasmania, hopefully. I, mean, I don't know a lot about Tasmania besides, you know, the Looney Tunes character. So Cocoa Life helps farmers get the most from the cocoa trees through environmentally farmly friendly. Equivalent, equivalent, sorry, of a glass of uh, glass and a half of full cream milk, and every two hundred grams of Cadbury Dairy Milk milk chocolate. Cadbury believes it's stability source cocoa. God, okay. You already sold me. I bought it. We believe that tasting good and doing good should go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah fair enough. So I'm hoping this is really good, man. Like, I like Cadbury. I'm a big fan of the Carmelo. Carmelo is fantastic, folks. It's such a simple thing, yet done so elegantly. I love it. So I'm hopeful. Now, the only problem is, you can see, it's already been broken. I tried to find one that wasn't at the place I got this from, uh, which happened to be a place called Rocket Fizz. If you're ever... Look it up, folks. It's Rocket Fizz. It's like a soda shop. They also sell weird candies. This was in their, like, kind of, like, British kind of uh, section, so... Let's give it a shot, folks. Open and reclose. Okay. I mean, if it's really good, I'm just gonna eat the damn thing in one go, but. No! What? What am I doing? What, what am I. Oh, okay. I think I see what's going on here. Alright, okay. Ah, I got it. I got it. I eventually figured it out. Okay, then got this little Cadbury chocolate. It's all broken. You see? Yeah, yeah. That makes me a little sad. I would like to have been one nice piece, but please be good. I've had pineapple chocolate things. They were good. This Cadbury, they know what they're doing. Take off a nugget. Cadbury nugget. I like this a lot. This is really good. You start off, and it's very much just the milk chocolate, which is fine. Milk chocolate's good. But 
as it subdues, little by little, the pineapple comes through. And initially, it's just kind of a hint of it. But then you go over there, you break down more of the chocolate, it melts down, and you get more and more. And then kind of at the end, you just get this, this nice pineapple flavor with kind of some chocolate overtones. So it almost reverses kind of course, whereas initially it's mostly the chocolate, by the end it's mostly the, uh, the pineapple. And it's not a heavy pineapple flavor, but it's an unmistakable one, for sure. I want to see, open, okay, I want to see kind of the, the ooh. Okay, it's gooey. Yeah, okay, okay. It's like a pineapple goo. The most delicious of the goos. Somebody ever wants to play a gelatinous cube in a D&D setting, find some way to make your uh, cube character pineapple flavored. Whatever dumbass character I'm playing, will gleefully jump into the abyss and die while trying to chomp down on some delicious pineapple goo. I like this a lot. It's really good. I expected it would be, because Cadbury typically does good stuff. And on top of that, um, like I said, I have had chocolate and pineapple treats before. They're from 7-Eleven. Uh, but as it turns out, it works just as well as in this regard, too. And the only thing I will say, it's very rich. I can see why they made these into the nuggets that they did instead of, like, bigger chunks. Because it's one of those things, like, a little dab will do you. As much as I like it, and despite what I proclaimed earlier, I would not want to eat this all in one go. I might want to. But I don't think that my taste buds are going to actually take it. Because it is, it's very rich chocolate. And while the, the pineapple kind of cuts through and gives it something of a refreshing edge, the chocolate is definitely still the most prominent aspect. I guess if I had any point of contention, I maybe would have preferred a little bit more pineapple flavor, but it's hard to say. Because as is, I think it's really nice. And more could potentially overwhelm it, make it a bit too much. The balance that they found, I like a lot. I would, I'm curious about what if, they, if it had a little bit more, but I can go with this. Yeah, I'm very, very down with that. Like I said, it's, it's definitely very rich. But I like the, I love the idea of having this rich, savory, you know, sweet chocolate being cut through by a sweet, acidic, kind of refreshing pineapple taste. I really like that a lot. Yeah. I, I would maybe like to see it, if they would do it, like in a Carmelo bar style, like I mentioned earlier. You know, so you have a, a, a greater ratio of pineapple goo to chocolate. I think that would probably be my ideal circumstance. But even as is, that's really good, and I like it a lot. Now, would I recommend it to people? For $15, no. Not unless you like me and you're a pineapple nut. Um, but... I was thirsty. Um, but if it's more readily available where you're at, if it's something where, excuse me, my nose is a little bit clogged up at the moment. Um, if it's something where, you know, you can get it at something of a, because like where I got it from, I'm sure they imported it. But you can get something where it's, you know, not where you're not dealing with that kind of upcharge factor. It's really good. 
if you are somebody who likes pineapple a lot and you can find it here in the United States, do you want to pay $15 for it? Uh, as like a one-off thing, I could maybe see it. I don't know if I would get one again at that price because it is, it's just, it's a bit much. I'd be willing to go over there. I mean, you know, it's a single candy bar. It's a good candy bar. If it were knocked down a little bit, I could see it being a little bit more of a thing. But as a one-off thing, and to try it and for it to actually be really good, I think, yeah, it, it's it's worth a shot. But again, only if you're kind of a pineapple nut. So, anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental the rest of your month. Spanish rest of your year. You can go there and have yourself a truly pineapple chocolate-tastic rest of your life, folks, because... That's a combination that, by all accounts, probably shouldn't work. But damn it, pineapple is good with almost anything. So there you go. That's a pretty good life. Oh. Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what do you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Not always an easy thing to do. Especially when you got a bunch of weird sodas in you and two candy bars. And it's a whole thing. It's the one downside to doing these in batches. I start off strong, and as time goes by, I get weaker because I put more stuff inside myself. And eventually, my stomach is just like, I don't know what your plan is. But if you're trying to kill us with just eating weird shit, keep at it. Maybe one day you'll succeed, but probably not today. Me and my stomach have a very interesting relationship. I keep it fed, but every now and again I put weird stuff inside it, and it's like, I don't know about all this, and it's like, just do it. <laughs> oh, final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you know somebody at Cadbury. You've got the connections, okay? Tasmania, Cadbury, all the things. Go over there and be like, hey, look, there's this guy. He's on the internet. He's in a room. He had a Peter Can Thunderbolt poster. For some reason, we know who he is. Uh, you know, maybe, just maybe, we can go over there, get him some more of that Cadbury pineapple stuff. You know, we'll, maybe we'll give him a little bit of a deal. You know, friends and family type of deal. Uh, because he seems like a good dude. And, uh, you know, he went over there and reviewed shit on his show. Plus, if you got any other weird-ass flavors, which I'm sure I know Cadbury does, feel free to send them my way. I'll give him a shot on the show. Oh, or you could go over there and do something way more productive with your life. Like, uh, what's a thing that you could do, folks? The thing, go to the beach today, right? I mean, you know, depending on what the weather is and all that stuff, make sure you put on suntan lotion. I saw this thing recently on Facebook. God, fucking Facebook. But I have so many friends and so many things that I follow on there. It's like, yeah, it's kind of a necessary evil at this point. But uh, there was somebody posting up about old-timey shit, and it's like, it's like a picture of an old-timey beach, and it's like, oh, look at that, you know, just natural bodies and no suntan and blah, blah, blah. It's like, fucking stupid, you sound. Serious. Folks, it's, it, there's nothing wrong with liking the older times, okay? But, like, keep shit in perspective. Don't make it out to be some magical fucking... Bu like, do you know how much bad shit was in the past? It's almost... It's always a lot of bad stuff. Okay? I grew up in the 90s. I love the 90s. That doesn't mean there wasn't bad shit in the fucking 90s. You know why you thought it was awesome? Because you were younger and you didn't have the same shit on your fucking plate that you do when you're older. Okay? When I was nine, I didn't fucking care who the president was. It really didn't affect me all that much. Okay? Now it's a little bit more of a fucking thing. I gotta at least quasi pay attention because fuck only knows what those idiots are doing these days. Bye.